Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we arrived and explored the Clockwork Sun, a rather horrifying thing, literally and figuratively. I've done everything I can here, so I want to keep exploring, because my ship's in pretty good condition, I have almost all my crew, pretty good amount of supplies and fuel and whatnot, and there's unexplored areas down and up. Let's go... Let's go towards the Avatar Horizon, because this is a very big swath of unexplored area. This is relatively small. Like, there probably isn't a port in here, but there might be one in here. So I've gone ahead... Let me go back to exploring. I've gone ahead and bought everything that was available as a bargain, which was seven carefully backed crates of munitions. And then I bought as many supplies as I could fit, which was two more. So I've got eight and ten. Eight fuel, ten supplies. Let's go. Oh, by the way, I'm starting this episode with my cat on my lap. So I kind of have to, like, bend up in an awkward position to get to the microphone. But it's totally worth it, because she's adorable. I'm petting her right now. This is what happens to my voice when I pet her. Oh, baby. Uh, anyway, let's go. Oh god, another one of those. These fields of glass are so beautiful. You know what wouldn't surprise me? It wouldn't surprise me if when you go in one of these things, maybe just teleport you to like a random other one. Maybe they're like little wormholes or something. I don't really want to thread the needle between two of them. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm fine with leaving that there. Okay, yeah, I think we're fine going between them. They're a good distance apart. Master stand permit. It's a lot of graves around here. I wonder if it's from everything being turned to glass. And the graveyards are full, uncommit of the dead to the sky. Another bully's acre. Shall we explore it? I guess so. I think a scribe is probably going to pop in here. Oh, investigate a mysterious gleaming. I think I tried that once before and I failed. Let's keep trying. 62% chance of success. Ugh, failure again. 10 terror, that's really bad. With what my terror currently is. So, yeah, we've seen this description before because we failed before. It's a human head fashioned from bottle green glass. Is what we fished out of the sky. Sounds weird to say fish and then out of the sky. Oh shit. Oh shit, we got a glass one. Damn, that thing can spin around really fast. Is it running away? Gosh, look at it just bumping around all these coffins.
What is it doing? Why isn't it coming towards me? It's like gyrating around inside of the field of glass. Is it attracted to the glass? Oh, wow. This is getting exciting. Star Seared Explorer, not Madden Seared. in the mist. That's new. A sudden jolt. I think we hit something, comrade, your driver observes. The mists are thick. You could turn back and search for it. Hmm, 61% terror. Let's do what reduces terror. We could double back. Oh, chance me just, off, just got off my lap. Okay, I'll get closer to the microphone. <clears throat> We could double back. It would use up fuel. There might be danger, but perhaps whatever you hit was valuable, or perhaps it needs help. 50% chance of success. Takes a fuel. While I'm exploring, so I don't really want to use up fuel. Offer whatever it was to the burrower below. Oh, reduces terror massively, but increases your nightmares. Hmm. Oh, and you can do... Whoa. There's a lot more options now. Okay. Um, there's three different things I can do that reduce my terror by 50 but increase my nightmares. Depending on, I guess, who or what I want to sort of honor or pledge my allegiance to or what have you. The burrower below, the waste wife, or the storm that speaks? The storm that speaks rages in the night. It covets that which has passed. Interesting. Unlocked when you do not have the... Attention of the storm that speaks. I don't think I want its attention. Hmm. I wonder what thing does Elizabeth believe in? The burrower below, the waste wife, or the storm that speaks? The waste wife occupies abandoned places. It is lonely, but spurns company. It likes toys. The burrower once tunneled paths through the sky. She's always hungry. I think I'm going to do this. Let's offer whatever it was to the storm that speaks. I can certainly believe in the storm that speaks. Because we literally saw it and heard it. The storm that speaks rages in the night. It covets that which has passed. A funeral rite, a quenched lamp, smoke in the dark, a quiet chorus of secrets. Is it a comfort to know that you are not alone, to be watched by one of the capricious gods of the turning sky? Their attention can draw other unwelcome things. Your nightmares are now one, and the storm that speaks has noticed you. <laughs> Great. Damn, that ship's just running away. Okay. I don't really feel like pursuing it. It's fine. Star Seared Explorer defeated. This engine has ventured into sunless wastes and spent too long in the cold, searing light of distant stars, which burned all reason from its crew. Now its last voyage is at an end. Gain trade goods, or scavenge for parts. Since I'm exploring, let's scavenge for parts. Up to full. Gain some terror. The crew work hastily. There are mistakes. Fortunately, none of the wounds are serious. Trembling, bruised, and quiet, they return, bearing plates of wood and metal. They'll keep you in the sky a little longer.
I love these. I love these just like chunks of industry. It's like a rock with all sorts of machinery and a building on it. Oh, I got a weird specimen. A forsaken structure ruined by time. Before I move on, I just want to make sure there's nothing like hiding back here. I mean, there's another grave, but I'll, I'll leave it. I don't want to get that close to the sun again. Something, uh, another one of those time bubble things. Pay your respects. Success. Terrors reduced. Silence as coffins drift past the window. A stoker removes his hat. So no scriver appeared. Maybe if you fail that, that's when the scriver appears. I wonder if anything different happens when you go past the edge of the world in Albion instead of the Reach. I'm not going to try it right now. I don't feel like it. Especially now with all these time bubbles. Or space bubbles. Or time and space bubbles. I don't know what they are. Wait. Wait, there, that old building? That's where the Verdant Fragment is hiding? Are you... Are you talking about here? Whoa. I, I wasn't even looking for that. Uh, a vine-knotted structure. Whatever this place was intended to be, its inhabitants are long gone. The entire building seethes with, seethes with overgrown vines, burrowed deep into the foundations, and climbing high enough to smother the roof in an inescapable embrace. Escort the incautious driver. The driver is drawn to something deep in the structure. An impossible quest. The driver follows a trail of fungal vines deep into the bowels of the building, stopping at a bulbous mass that takes up much of what was originally a cellar. They approach it, letting its thorns rise up, wrap around them, draw blood. I'm here to take you home, the driver tells it, though it seems unlikely the verdant fragment has any interest in something as simplistic as human speech. The driver winces as it digs its thorns in deeper. When it finally lets go, the driver looks miserable. It won't come with us. They force out, wincing at the sting of fresh iodine on their wounds. It prizes its freedom too much to give up and just become part of its... Promogen... Hmm. Promogen... I had to look up this word. Primogenitor. Because I'm used to, uh, pro progenitor, I think? Is the version of it I'm used to? And primogenitor is a, I don't know, I guess another form of it. Maybe a British form of it. Had to look it up online. But yeah, progenitor, you know, like the original, the, the thing that made it, the thing that it came from. The unconscious driver found the verdant fragment. It is proving difficult to remove, however. How will you do it? Whatever this place was intended to be, its inhabitants are long gone. So, I can either attempt to communicate with the Verdant, threaten it, or offer yourself as a host. And if you do that, you will take it back, but part of it will always live inside you. It will take something, too. The driver is eager to finish this. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Freaking tired of having it inside of him. What are my chances of threatening? 30%? Yeah. No, let's attempt communication first. A commune with the driver? Why not you? Silence. The verdant fragment pulses slowly, showing no interest in your attempt to communicate. Shit. Shit. I... I don't want to do either of these. I don't want to threaten it or offer yourself as a host. I mean, okay... 
Let's think this through. This, this verdant fragment that's taken refuge out here. There's nothing evil about it. It was sent on a quest to gather information by its progenitor. Progenitor, however you want to pronounce it. It decided it would rather be free. It's smart enough, it's intelligent enough to... I mean, it seems to be like a fully functioning entity. And it thought, I want freedom. And so it's come out here to hide all alone just to have freedom. It's not doing anything wrong. So I'm not going to threaten it to come back. I can't communicate with it. That means the only thing I can either do is just leave it inside the incautious driver or offer myself as a host. And then part of it will always live inside you. Ugh. It will take something too. What's it going to take? Hmm. So like most of it is going to go back? If it's going to make the fungus, the, the progenitor happy by going back, but also still living inside me, then it must be like splitting off or something. Leaving a small, small amount of it in me. I'm going to help the unconscious driver out. They need this damn thing out of them. It's been in them way too long. Yeah, offer myself as a host. A passenger. The vines shift from the driver's arms, your own flesh, digging in for the verdant fragment to taste your blood and get your measure. It appears to find it acceptable. The main mass of growth erupts into a single large flower that sprays spores into your face and withers away. As you help the driver cut the central mass free, something in the back of your head whispers to you in the language of flowers and butterflies. You can now return the renegade fungal mass to the nature reserve. Lost one iron. That's really not too bad. Especially compared to all the hearts I lost at Trader's Wood. And we leveled up. I wonder if it's going to do other things to me, though. You know? Like, is it going to make me incautious somehow? Causing me to make rash poor decisions doesn't seem too bad let's go speak with the incautious driver I'm sure they have something to say check on the driver how are they coping with their verdancy oh maybe it's not really done yet until we bring it back mm, the voices are so no okay yeah nothing's really quite happened yet until I bring them back I'm not really sh I guess... I guess the infection is still inside of the incautious driver, and the escaped fungal fragment is inside of me, so now we're both infected right now, right? I think? Um, I'll level up later. Let's keep exploring. Doing really well on terror. Good amount of supplies. Yeah, we're... We're good. So many graves. I've noticed that the ports in Albion seem to be like the whole of Albion seems to be quite a bit quite a bit harder. Not just because of all the terror events and all the stronger enemies, but even the ports themselves. Um, I d none of the ports except for London that I've discovered so far offer both types of, of, uh, well, I shouldn't call them supplies because that's one of the types of things you need. None of these ports offer both fuel and supplies. This one offers just supplies. This one offers, oh, this one offers fuel and supplies actually, but that's so close to London. Clockwork Sun is only fuel. Perdurance is... Nothing. 
Yeah, nothing. Parliament is just supplies? Like, even that seems to be harder. You really need to make sure you pack up with those with the things you need before you go. Look at all these house fragments. All the pieces of them below me, too. Oh, Jesus! Hmm... I'll consider finding that when I have a different ship. Right now, no. Alright, well, we're going this way now. Ooh. You're not going away, are you? Hold. Aromatic casket. One supplies. Murgatroyd's fungal crackers, a rare treat in the skies. Newer skyfarers tend to disdain them as revolting and abominations unto the Lord. The taste is not improved with age, but the vintage provides a certain smug satisfaction. <laughs> Enjoy your vintage fungus crackers. Hmm. Shall I continue all the way through here? Yeah, sure. We're so close, I can go gather a port report. It's just I have enough stuff to keep keep exploring. Oh god. Another one of those bubbles? Yep. Have you found nothing? It swears on its great grandsire's honor that it will do better next time. Now you did great, don't worry about it. Sometimes there's just nothing to find. Investigate another mysterious gleaming? Sure. Success? You stand on the footplate, a crewman holding you by the belt of your skysuit for safety. Um, you hook it with your coal shovel. This That's the same, but I guess this is going to be different. You examine your catch. It's a glass hand, perfect in every detail. Its knuckles are calloused. When you peer at its fingertips, you can distinguish the whorls of fingerprints. Plain silver ring sits on one finger. So the ring didn't turn to glass, just the human parts. I'm not sure what to do with the otherworldly artifacts. I haven't found much uses for them yet. What is this market of truth? Have I done this before? Colts from the depths of the quiet sea beneath the home office have established a stall by the docks. No, I, I think this was here the last time I was here and I, I guess I just ignored it. Here they sell their philosophies and the curious catches from the glassy waters. 
It's hard to tell which more offends the ministry's sensibilities. Listen to the preacher or purchase a caged catch. 150, that's a bit pricey. I don't know what you do with a caged catch. Let's listen to the preacher. Look to the saints, cries a sanctified cultist. Call on their mercy. Pray for their return. Speak their names into the darkness. Distant nonsense. The detainees of the home office have no time for their prattle. The preacher shuffles off in a hail of cheery insults in the occasional thrown rock. Alright, wonderful. No more bargains. Not much of a point in buying supplies, is there? I'm gonna run out of fuel pretty fast. Like, faster than I'll run out of supplies. I'll buy a couple. Well, I feel like exploring more. So, let's head this way so that we end up pretty close to London. really scared to do a lot of what's in Albion. Those weird prickly star death things, the weird pulsating bubbles all over the place. Stonehenge. I don't know if I'd want to explore those if I had a better ship, but I mean at least I would I would feel more comfortable fighting that spiky thing. Still scared because I don't know how powerful it is. But I really want a better ship. I feel a little bit more confident. Oh, that's why they're kind of ignoring me. They're fighting each other. I'm not sure which one I fear more. Passenger. Oh, yeah, they joined me on board at, uh, well, I broke them out of jail at the Clockwork Sun. I was wondering when they pop up again. Since you boarded your train, the empty's silence has started to get on your crew's nerves. What kind of man doesn't even sit to play a round of cards when asked? Isn't he bored? All he wants to do is stare out of the windows. Worse, he still hasn't told you where he wants to go. The crew are starting to worry he's a permanent addition. Approach him. He turns to you, chewing his words. Finally, he spits them out. I have a confession. I miss the light of the sun. He avoids your gaze. I miss the pain of its touch. I miss the songs in my head. But I won't go back. Won't give them the satisfaction. So I want you to shatter me. Break me into a thousand glittering pieces and let me bathe in the sun's light. Oh my god. Uh... There must be another way. This sun is an addiction. Perhaps the empty can be rehabilitated. A bitter, better alternative. There is a place called Kirillin where devils help agonized souls find healing. Perhaps they can help the empty recover from his dependence on the sun. It has to be better than being smashed to splinters. 
After much persuasion, he finally agrees to give it a try. Carillon will shatter me, sure as the hammer, he says. The difficult part comes after. The repair. Yes. I don't think the other ship actually even has noticed me. Check the navigation suite. Ministry stamp permit. I think I'm just not going to bother it. I'm not exactly itching to get in a fight. I still got plenty of supplies. Supplies left. Even though I'm kind of close to London, let's go into this patch. Oh god. Hmm. No. I'm not taking on two. Oh yes, please attack each other. Oh, did that get their aggro? Maybe I can fight them both. They're very clumsy. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Strip it for parts. Why can't I do that? Oh, I need mining. Interesting. Never need never needed a mining drill to do anything like that before. Demolish it. Wait, what's the difference? The resurrections are equipped with reinforced plating to better weather the ire of Albion's dreadnoughts. Same description for both. This one repairs your hole. Your mirror, mirror skill will affect how much damage you can repair. And this one just repairs your hole. Hmm. I don't really know what the difference is. One of them maybe is better for you. Like if your mirror skill is high, perhaps that one's better. Let's search for valuables. Failure. Gain five terror. Your search turns up an array of valuables retrieved from the dead. Cufflinks and brooches, rings, wedding, engagement, signet, and ear, tie pins and hair pins, gold rimmed spectacles, and silver plated belt buckles. You also find a cupboard full of skulls. Memento Mori for the death hunted death haunted aristocracy of Albion. Yeah, fuck. Wrong way. Investigate the bodies. Success this time should be the same as the last success, right? Admirably cataloged, yep, savage secret, and a couple tales of terror. Yeah, sure, let's just go towards one of those evil little pockets of death. Still nothing. Found nothing. That night, a lengthy written apology is pushed under your door. Oh, you don't have to do that. Oh, there's a bully's acre over there.
Pay your respects. Success. Stoker removes his hat. Coffins drift past. Terrors reduced. Oh. Scavenge for Barts. Gain 10 hull. I really do get the feeling if I go into the center of one of those things and it goes kathunk. That's not a very good description of the sound. I don't know how to describe it. You know, if it does, does its thing, I really feel like I'm going to end up at one of the others. Perhaps randomly. Little wormholes. Okay, my feels low enough that I should start heading back. Yeah, let's just explore this little part here. And then go straight back to London. One more cavy. Yeah, just that treasure over there probably is what it discovered. Okay, well, I'm going back to London. I'll meet you there. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, they're actually called explicitly Grave Robber. I was going to fight it, but not with this dreadnought here. Don't want to take them both. Back in London. Let's take care of business. Repair my locomotive fully. Turn in our port reports. We had two. Let's hire on some more crew. Failure just means it's going to cost a little bit more. 40 sovereigns. Mm, let's dump off all the stuff that we got. There's probably going to be new prospects. Yes, actually just some new prospects came in. Words in the Wind, Literature for the Avid Horizon. Three more. Huh, I just did that. Um, how many spots do I have, by the way? Two, so I can take both of them. Bronzewood for Parliament. Five Bronzewood. That's going to be a big profit. That's going to be over a thousand a profit. And I think I even have that in my bank. I have nine, yeah. Hmm, I just went to explore London, and there's collect a telegram for the incautious driver. These are expensive to send. It must be important. The driver reads the telegram without expression. They show it to you without saying a word. Come home. Stop your... F stop your father. Stop funeral. Stop New Winchester. Right, stop is a period. Okay, this reads differently. Come home, period. Your father, period. F funeral, period. New Winchester, period. Drive safe, period. That makes more sense now that I've read it like that. Their father died. Come to the funeral at New Winchester. He was ill for a long time, the driver finally manages. I need to pay my respects. I'm glad I checked there. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to level up, and then you know what? I was thinking I wouldn't return to the Reach until I'd completely explored Albion, but no. I'm going to go back to the Reach. There's a lot of quests that I need to do there. And the most urgent one, obviously, is the fact that there's a funeral for the incautious driver. I mean, that's not something you, you want to wait a couple months for and then <laughs> stop on by. Funeral will kind of be over by then. 
So I want to go there ASAP.